3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We are going to ESPN2, and Purdue is headed to Nebraska. The Cornhuskers are a seven and a half point favorite, total of 52 and a half. Nebraska, five and two against the spread in their last seven games. Uh, in the last three games, Nebraska's offense and defense have been significantly better than Purdue. Everybody, you know, it started to kind of hype up Purdue a little bit because they got that big win over Iowa. But when you really sit back and look at the numbers, the win over Iowa was impressive, but also maybe should have been expected. I don't know what that necessarily says here. Last week, Purdue just got steamrolled by Wisconsin. Nebraska has the dudes to be able to do the same thing. The question is, is Purdue going to be able to stop the run enough to make Adrian Martinez make a mistake here? And I I don't think so. I think that this one looks a little closer to uh, maybe Notre Dame against Purdue. That was a 27-13 uh, to 13 game. I, I kind of lean Nebraska here, even even with the hook. I'll I'll take the Cornhuskers minus seven and a half. I think I think this is much more what Nebraska did to Northwestern. Now Purdue is not as bad as Northwestern, uh, but Nebraska beat them fifty six to seven, and and they once they started they just never stopped. Like they figured out what worked against them and, and kept doing it. I think Purdue could fall into the same situation here. Man. I hate this game, and I hate this one. I, give me Purdue. <laughs> See, that's that's the way that I wanted to go until I started digging into stuff, and I was like, God. No, I think you're probably right, but I'll take the starting point. I mean, it's, I, I, it's so I hard. Is it's a close game. Like, it's so hard to bet on Adrian Martinez because you know he's going to do something at some point that, that could cost yeah. him the game. Like, I don't want to lay more than a touchdown with Adrian. That's how I feel. That's how I feel about it. So, just just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.